Good morning and welcome fellow graduates, staff, family, faculty, family, and friends. When Holly Ray told me I received this award, I was shocked. And as she told me about the award, I kept thinking, Holly Ray, please don't tell me I have to give a speech. <laughs> I kept thinking, there's going to be a speech. In spite of this moment of fear, here I am giving a speech a short two weeks later. I am truly honored and thankful to share this joyful moment with everyone, along with some final thoughts for the graduating class of 2015. Most importantly, as a communications major, I've learned to keep things short and concise. So what can I say to the graduating class of 2015? First, congratulations to my fellow graduates. This is a great accomplishment, an accomplishment we've shed our blood, sweat, and tears for, especially this year. As we leave the safe haven we've called home for the last few years, I'd like to share some final pieces of advice. Number one, family and friends. Fellow graduates, take the time to thank the family and friends in your life who have supported you over the years. And I'd also like to say thank you to the Benedictine community who has become my family over the last four years. Number two, education. Never take your education for granted. It's a gift that will help you continue to learn. And even though this part of your educational journey is finished, life never stops teaching. So always be curious to learn more. Number three, books. I'm a book hoarder, plain and simple. That means I like to collect books, hordes of them. It might be a sickness, but uh, there's worse things out there that I could be addicted to. And being a book hoarder means this isn't a lifestyle choice. I was born this way. This being said, pick up a book and read it. You can learn some amazing things from it. Harper Lee, author of To Kill a Mockingbird, said, the book to read is, the not, is not the one which, makes, which thinks for you, but the one which makes you think. Number four, Disney. Whether you still watch Disney movies at two or 22, remember, yes, we're adults and trying to figure things out, so it can be stressful. During this time, take some friendly advice from your good old friends, Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King, who said, Akuna Matata, it means no worries for the rest of your days. So take some time to relax every so often. Number five, bacon. <sighs> yes, a lot of people know I love bacon. <laughs> uh, years ago, I made a bet with my family that I could become a vegetarian. Needless to say, my family knows my weakness and within five minutes of this bet, my father started making bacon and I caved in and ate some bacon. Some friendly advice. If you're meant to be a connoisseur of bacon, like myself, because who doesn't like bacon, don't try to be a vegetarian. So in life, don't try to be someone else. The world deserves to be graced with the real you and all your wonderful, wonderful gifts. And know through all of life's up and downs, you will have your family and plate of bacon to keep you and your belly full and satisfied. In closing, thank you to the Benedictine staff and faculty who have helped all of us get to this moment and get through this year. Even though this year marks an end to the undergraduate program, I want to leave you with this piece of advice from Frodo and Gandalf, characters from the Lord of the Rings series. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. To the graduating class of 2015, congratulations, and make the most of your time. Thank you.